Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 is Rome. So the voting is officially over. We have a winner and that's the starting location number two. Not a big surprise. It was like, my favorite and I'm not surprised that you guys want to see this as well. It's quite different from what I usually uh, prioritize. I like to go for like mountainous starts with forest. Uh, so this is the exact opposite. And um, yeah, therefore I have like very limited experience with this kind of start. I have an idea what I want to do. Uh, obviously, we can't take advantage of early production, so we'll have to compensate for that. And the obvious choice here, of course, is the gold that we should be able to get from these four tiles. Uh, but, well, is there going to be enough gold, enough extra gold, so we can maybe rush some buildings, speed things up that way? That's a question. I have a plan. But, uh, well, before we talk about that, let's um, see where we want to start our capital. Uh, last time we sent the Pathfinder this way, and we know that there is nothing on this side. So I will actually send him this way to see what's on the other side. Uh, I'm not sure if this is, like, cheating that I basically reload for turn 1 to check on what's, like, uh, what's on both sides uh, of the starting area. But, well, probably not a big deal. Uh, actually, maybe I'll take that back. I didn't expect to see much on this side, so it would be like, okay, there is nothing on one side, nothing on the other side. But uh, this is actually quite important, because um, if we move this way, and I was thinking about starting the capital either here or here, uh, these tiles, all three of these tiles were uh, viable city locations. Mm. Of course, if I move even one tile this way, these two uh, tiles will be out of range then. And I uh, don't want to lose two extra plantations with coffee. Uh, I checked before I started the recording and the bonus uh, yield when we improve coffee is actually plus two science. So this is plus four science just from tiles. Also would make it uh, easier to get the monopoly. We would have five tiles with coffee in the range of our capital. Hmm. I guess I will stay here. Uh, this, as I said, this was one of the options, and I was thinking if I stay here instead of um, trying to get the gems as soon as possible, I'll just sacrifice some gold. Uh, I'll buy this mountain, and then the border should grow to the gems naturally. It's actually not a huge difference between just a, uh, just a normal mountain and the gems. It's just one gold, and if you stay here, then instead of getting the gold here, you'd be getting it here. So, and then of course there's some more gold on this side. Also, we'll stay on the river, so this might be the best uh, starting location. And even if uh, if there wasn't the coffee, oh, coffee, I think this would be the best starting location. I think the the river in the end makes the difference between, let's say, this tile and this tile. I think this tile is the worst one. Okay, fine. Let's stay here. We want to lock both tiles with coffee as soon as possible. I still want to start with Monument. 25 turns, that's a long time. And as for research, so the plan is still try to get Stonehenge, which I'm not sure if it's even possible, but I'll try. After that, Calendar. It's funny that I want to start this, uh, uh, or that I want to try this wonder heavy start with no production. But um, yeah, I want to try pyramids. Uh, if we don't get them, which we probably won't because pyramids are now prioritized pretty heavily by all the AIs. So I think we don't really have a chance there. But we need plantations. So yeah, if we don't get that, we still need plantations. And with that, we also could use Herbalist for the extra production from plantations. Now when we are here, we may as well grab trapping. We'll need the uh, archers to defend ourselves against barbarians. I think barbarians are going to be very annoying. Uh, and then, well, just two texts to go and grab writing and maybe, maybe try to get the great library. With the extra science we will be getting from coffee, getting to writing in time probably won't be that difficult. The problem will be getting the social policies. Especially if we are not going authority. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get the fourth social policy. I think the first three won't be a problem. But the fourth one, it's going to take a long time. Well, 
who knows maybe we can somehow do this and getting a great library would be nice for us the free tech is nice but i think it's a lot more important that we would take the great library away from uh, like potentially snowballing uh, saves so that's uh, the first six after that mining into bronze working we definitely want to reveal iron to see if we can rely on uh, legions and uh, after that well, depends if you find iron, right? We will definitely go animal husbandry after that, I think. So we reveal other resources and then it depends. If you find the iron, we probably go iron working. If not, we could go mathematics, maybe philosophy. Try to get oracle if we can get there in time. Um, we still want, uh, not courthouse, we still want school of philosophy. So this wouldn't be a bad way how to approach the game. Maybe we wouldn't go that wide early. Try to get the philosophy and the uh, school of philosophy as soon as possible. Then maybe go education and go this uh, like research focused early game. Depends also on how the map looks like around us. How many neighbors we have around us. How aggressive they're going to be. So yeah. We definitely have two options, hard to say which one we're gonna uh, choose, it really depends on uh, what you're gonna find on the map. Okay, uh, so that's the plan, and now we just have to find a way how to execute it. Uh, so, let's end the turn. Our biggest advantage is gonna be our early growth, as you can see, to get to size to its six turns. Uh, come on, this first turn may take a while because everyone is starting their cities and barbarians are spawning probably um yeah then i think if i should let the game grow here like guaranteed first border pop or if i should just buy this tile as soon as possible and hope that the second that the uh, first border growth is this way although it's a mountain so it's i mean mountain hill it's probably less likely that the border would grow this way it's most likely gonna be here no matter what i do and then we have a problem that we may never get the or never it will take very long time to get this tile naturally because the the border could just keep growing here Oh, we'll see about that. Can't really affect that too much. If we don't get the gems, we'll just work the mountain, and hopefully that will be enough. So, um, now we have to figure out where we are on the map. I'm thinking there are like three options. This could have been somewhere like uh, north of France. I have no idea how far north and south the map goes. Same with east and west. So, I was thinking either north of France, somewhere... Uh, North of Spain, just the northern like coast of uh, of Europe. Uh, this could be also northern coast of Turkey. In theory, this would be like a, uh, a southern coast of the Black Sea, which is quite unlikely but possible. Also, I don't know if the game goes that far uh, to the to the east. Or now, when I see this river, I. Th I think it's uh, probably almost guaranteed that we are in the north of uh, Africa and this in the real world would probably be like Alexandria. Uh, so let's do some exploring, let's maybe hug the coast. And what's like confusing me here, if it's uh, north of Africa, it's all the grassland here, I just expect desert. So that's why I'm still not sure if this really is north of Africa. Um, okay, next. Oh, that's some early barbarians, great. And still, everything is so green here, it doesn't look like Africa. But then, I mean, I can't think of... Could this be like... Uh, Netherlands? And this would be like Rhine? No, no way. The map can't be that big. And also the shape of the coast is just weird. Oh, that is a desert. Okay. So if this was a Nile... Then in... Uh, what is the... Uh, then in like what, almost 6,000 years, uh, there will be a Suez Canal somewhere here. So we want to check, I think, here, these two tiles. 
Okay, and I probably have to make this episode a little bit shorter because somehow, while when I was sleeping, I managed to bit my tongue. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it really happened. And it hurts like hell when I'm talking. Okay, let's... That This actually looks promising. So now when we go south, I don't want to go too far away from Rome because I will probably need even the Pathfinder to defend the city early against barbarians. I didn't expect them to spawn so early. So if we go this way, we should get into a desert and there should be, of course, Nile going south. Why is it so green? Now the river is going south. I mean, this has to be Africa. Arabian Peninsula somewhere around here. Just... But, on the other hand, 4000 years BC. Uh, north of Africa wasn't as dry as it's now. So, now we have more population and we will grow in 8th turn. So the growth is great. Now we just have to somehow... How much money do we need <clears throat> Excuse me, to buy this mountain? 63, so it's 100 gold to buy at the top. It's more than I expected. Oh, well... Next. But we need the production. Okay, let's get the Trailblazer. Ah, now there it is. Yep, uh, we are in Africa. Confirmed. So, can I rename Rome? No. So I can't rename our capital, so Rome will never be in, in the right place. And we probably won't have Alexandria in this game, because this is, I think, <coughs> basically exactly where Alexandria would be. Let's try to figure out how far south does the map go. Actually, holy crap, this map is going to be massive. Ah, actually, maybe not. We are on the southern border. Okay, now we just want to avoid these barbarians and get home. Next. We could use one more promotion so we could move faster through the desert. It would be huge. But we are pretty far away from that. Next. Okay, more barbarians. But hopefully we can make it between these two camps safely. Next. So there is size 3. And in two turns, we'll buy the mountain and get some production that way. Not mountain, hill. Oh, there's copper. Hmm. So for now, just work whatever. It's truly 100, yeah. I didn't expect the task would be so expensive. I thought like maybe 75. 25 gold is a huge difference this early. Okay, so how fast are we growing now? 20 turns. 7 turns for the monument. The start of the Stone Age won't be that late. I mean, it's not ideal, but could have been significantly worse. And look that, at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six tiles with coffee in the range of our capital. Then we have the gems still. And we basically don't know about like horses, cattle, I don't know, sheep could be on the hill. There's some, some copper. There is a small chance that there might be some more copper in Sahara. And... Uh, 
Monopoly on copper is also production. So combine these two monopolies and we could just have a ridiculous production for the lady game. Let's try to explore on this side a little bit before we get overwhelmed by barbarians. Come on, stop chasing me. Ah, more copper. Okay. I'm not sure how many copies of copper there will be on a large map, and this map seems to be very rich on luxuries. So maybe four, probably some more copies of copper that will be around. May still not be enough for Monopoly, but... Well, it's gonna be pretty close. We almost have, or maybe even, we even have enough uh, coffee for the Monopoly just around our capital. And this is where the fun begins. So how do I get home? I wonder if the barbarians start attacking now. Not yet. If I go... Let's see, this way... I just probably can't make it in between them. I'm hoping this barbarian is just gonna move maybe... Just for, for one turn to the west, and that would give me time to uh, get to the capital. Nope. Oh, okay. If I can't go this way, if I try that, I will just get caught between two broods. My best shot here is to just go around and try to get to Rome from the north. Next. They're losing so much now. What did we lose? Yeah. Actually, that's quite convenient. They block this town, just get another, and um, yeah, now the border is gonna be growing this way, so I'll have, if I want gems, I'll have to buy the town. Okay, 37 turns for Stonehenge, I mean 174 gold to buy it. We are making 7 gold per turn, so 20, what? Uh, 20... Four turns, then we can buy it. So that will be what 13 turns before it's completed. Uh, it could happen. Uh, hello, move. There we go. They're losing, yeah. That's, this is definitely not helping. I hope that uh, all the cities will have the same problem as we do. Um, if I knew the size of the map, I would definitely edit some more saves. No, don't. I, I need the production. I don't care about, well, I do care about the gold, but actually I care about everything. Production, gold, culture. I don't care about science. At least it seems that we made it back home. Thinking. I really can't buy a warrior now. Oh, 
Yeah, food isn't the problem. If they want to keep stealing food, so be it. But I need the production and the gold. Science is fine. Now we have the... Uh, blah, blah. Hmm. I don't think that survivalism is going to make a huge difference in this case. I think I just want the Trailblazer 2 for later when we can explore uh, again. It's going to speed things up a lot. How much they delayed the Stonehenge. Wait. No, it's just that I didn't lock the production. There we go. 30 turns. Actually, 30 turns. When we. I don't know, turn 61. And if I buy the production, it's gonna be like 10 turns. So, turn 51 of Stonehenge is kinda late, but it's not like uh, so late that it's impossible to get it. Sometimes you can get Stonehenge around turn 60. Uh, how much money do we need? 104. Yeah, here we'll just sit in the capital and uh, try to defend gold culture. That hurts. Holy moly. Um, why did I say I will not go authority this time? There's so much science and culture that we are just losing by not having the, uh, the opener and um, uh, dominance. How's the border gonna grow this way? Uh, well, I guess I'm thinking about buying maybe the forest or even the gems. How expensive is that? 110. No, if I want to get the uh, Stonehenge, I kind of have to, uh, to buy the production. I think if that is a chance, if I just uh, bought the gems and worked two tiles with production, if that would like be enough ah let's just stick to this plan Do you see this? How can they move two tiles and still attack? Can I check their promotion somehow? So I don't know the icons. Culture, that to hurt. Six culture, it's two turns. What is the culture? Just attack. How are we doing? 19 turns, then 42. Usually, at this point, I'm already like completing Stonehenge. Yeah, more coffee. Next time. Now there is a chance that we get gems, but it's 46 turns. What are we working? 1, 2, 3. Yeah, this is what we want to work.
Okay, please, 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 please don't steal culture now. There we go. So, I was thinking about uh, going progress immediately, but um, with this start, we need justice. We need that early uh, engineer so that we can get manufactured and compensate for the lack of production uh, like at this stage of the game. Uh, getting that early manufacture will help us to compensate to catch up. So I need to go to uh, policies in tradition also that uh, immediate boost from the opener is really nice. And then we switch to progress. I think go organization into expertise. Then we finish it. So, tradition. And next one. I don't think that with this start we can get uh, religion. So, I won't even try. The reason why I'm getting Stonehenge is that. Uh, it gives us um, uh, it gives us Pantheon much faster than we would usually get it. So I'll try to get in Pantheon. That will have immediate effect. We get something, and then we just try to take someone else's religion. Um, we don't need to go Council if we get Stone Stonehenge. So I'm thinking we could actually build a warrior here after the Stonehenge, of course. Next. Die. There we go. Probably like one or two turns, there'll be peace and quiet around Rome. And there is another one. I just hope that we have enough time to save up the money. Before they start stealing it again. Four more gold. Turn 48. And we still have 13 turns. But that will go down pretty significantly now. Down to two. Actually, that's more than I expected. So you'd still need like four turns after I invest the, uh, the gold. Hmm. Turn 51 isn't that late. There. So somehow we managed to get Stonehenge. Nice. And uh, about the decision for Pantheon. With so much coffee around the capital, there is always the option to go and go as a springtime. Problem is, this is going to take a while to kick in. And um, while it's going to help us, of course, with the gold, a little bit of food, uh, the faith is not relevant at all. The markets will take quite a while to build, and uh, by the time all religions are probably gone. So it really doesn't mean that much. The, the gold is probably the most important yield we would get from Goddess of Springtime. But uh, how long it's going to take to get the gold? We still don't have a worker. With so many barbarians on the map, there is no way we would steal a worker somewhere. At least not in the near future. So we'll have to um, train our own worker. I just don't think the, the Goddess of Springtime kicks in fast enough. And, well, let me check everything else. There is also the option to go God of War. It's, like, never a horrible option. And uh, if we wanted to try religion, I think this would be the only way how we would have a chance. So, that's one thing. Problem is, we don't get production, we don't get culture this way. And uh, if we want to try to get the wonders that I'm planning, 
uh, that won't work. We would have to we will have to decide like do we want to try the religion go go to war or do we forget religion and try to get try to get all the wonders. Um, and if you want to get the wonders, the plan would be Goddess of Beauty. Combine that with the uh, with the still don't remember the names with Justice and uh, uh, get that uh, super quick engineer for the manufacturing and use that production to rush all the wonders. And I don't think there is anything else that would get even close to this as to like the effect in the early game. And again, if we go uh, a Goddess of Beauty, this is just to get as much as possible in the early game before uh, someone else comes and flips all our cities. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't care that uh, this becomes very weak later. Later, we w won't have Goddess of Beauty. So yeah, these are the options. So what do you think about this, guys? Or what? would you use? What would be your plan for this game? Uh, we gotta make a cut here. I'll have to think about this a little bit more uh, off camera also. I wasn't sure if I can pull off this uh, uh, Stonehenge start, so if I didn't I'd probably maybe even change my plans. It would depend on how long it would take without the Stonehenge to get the Pantheon. But now we know that we managed to get the Pantheon and that we can now decide, I mean, we managed to get the Stonehenge that we now have to decide on the Pantheon. Um, we can, like, think, when we know the situation, we can think about uh, uh, the uh, the Pantheon when we, like, know everything that we need to know. So, yeah, um, I'll be looking forward to your comments. As I said, I'll think about this a little bit more as well. And uh, we'll see in the next episode, I guess. I hope that you like this one. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.